three and a half yards of fabric, my hammock of just a piece of paper to take measurements, then scissor staple, and then a chalk. So the first measurement I'm going to be working with is my waist, and my waist is 26. So because this is a wrap dress, I'm going to be adding 8 inches to it to form a wrap. So that will be 34. So I'm just going to divide the 34 by power, which is 3.14, to get our waist diameter. And I'm going to have 10.8 for my waist diameter. Then for my gown length, my gown length is 55. So I'm going to remove my upper part from it, that is the half length, which is 16 inches. Then I will have 39 inches. So I'm just going to add 39 inches to the 10.8, which is my waist diameter. And I'm going to have approximately 50 inches. So what I'm going to do now is to go to my fabric and fold 50 inches in two places. So basically what I did is, let's assume that's by three and a half yards. So I just took 50 inches and I folded it. So I'm having 50 inches at both sides. There. So the next thing I'm going to do just to come to the 50 inches edge and i'm going to make a triangle with it i'm just going to form a triangle so after forming triangle i'm just going to take my waist diameter and i'm going to insert it there at the upper end so i'll just go ahead and insert 10.8 I'm just going to drop it down. After which, I will go to my lower part, which is 39 inches, and I'm just going to add one inch for the hem allowance. So I'll just go ahead and chuck 40 inches. I'm just going to chuck 40 inches. And I'm going to chuck it all around. So I did that already. So I'm just going to cut out my lower parts. Then I'll cut out the 10.8 inches point also. So this will be this will be for the the down parts that is the flat parts. So the next thing is to go to the upper parts. So for the upper parts. I have this fabric and I have it in fold. So in fold I have 12 inches and the length of the fabric is 16.5 inches. So there's 12 inches in fold and then the length is 16.5 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take my shoulder measurements, man. My shoulder is 15 divided by 2, so that's 7.5. So I'm just going to insert 7.5 there. And then from that 7.5 point, I'll come down by 8 inches, which is my arm mode divided by 2. After which I'm going to take my neckline, and I'm going for 3 inches. Then my neck depth, I'm going to use 1 inch. So I'm just going to make my neck... Then I'll come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. So with my straight through, I'll just connect it to the neckline. After which I'm going to use my arm O curve to make my arm O. You can use your hand if you don't have this. So the next thing is to insert my bust measurement. My bust is 34 divided by 4. That's 8.5 plus 2 inches. That's 10.5. 2 inches same allowance. And then my waist is 26 divided by 4. That's 6.5 plus 2 inches. That's 8.5. So I'm just going to connect the two points. And I'm going to cut out. So 
So this will be for our back piece. And I'm going to use the back piece to cut the front piece. So I have my fabric in fold for the front piece. The only difference is that I have 4 inches extra at that other side end. So I have 4 inches extra. So I'm just going to trace my back piece for my front piece. I'm just tracing the lines. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to come in by half an inch at the hammer point. And this is for my hammer to be able to accommodate my bust. And then from the neckline, I'm going to make a diagonal line to the last edge of the fabric. And this is what is going to form the wrap at the front part. So I'm just going to call it belt. So that's the back piece and that's the front piece. Then going to our sleeve now. I have a fabric. I'm cutting the two pieces together. So the fabric is in fold. So I have 11 inches in fold. And the length is 21 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is to come in there by 4 inches. Then from the upper hand, I'm going to come down by 8 inches, which is my hammer divided by 2. And I'm going to take 1 inch same allowance. So from the 8 inches point, I'm going to make a diagonal line to the edge of the sleeve length there. And then the, I'll find the midpoint and I'll go out by half an inch. If you know how to cut your basic sleeve, you can just do this. And then at the midpoint there also, I'll go out by a quarter inch. So I'm just going to make my sleeve curve. From there, I'll join it to the 8 inches point and then I'll make a straight line to the 9 inches point there. Then at the other side there, I will go for 8 inches and that's because I want to gather heat up. So I'm just going to connect those two points. And then my sleeve length is 20. So I'll just cut it out now. And I'm just going to notch the midpoint. So for the sleeve band, I have two piece fabric and it is three inches by nine inches. Three inches by nine inches fabric and I have two piece for both sleeves. Then I also have 130 inches by 4 inches fabric and this will be for for taping of the gown, for taping the gowns. So I will join everything together to form about 130 inches. So to sew it now, the first thing I'm going to do is to open up the back piece. 
and then I'm going to place the front piece on it, right side facing each other. So I'm just going to join the shoulder and then I'm going to join the sides. I'll join the shoulder and the sides. So I joined both sides already. So the next thing I'm going to do is to attach the flay part to the upper parts. So I'm just going to place the upper hand of the flay to the down part of the upper parts, right side facing each other. And I'm just going to join it together. So I'll just join the two pieces together. So I did that already. So for my gown taping now, I'll just go ahead and join the those two pieces, I'll just join them together to form my long tape. So I joined that already. So what I'm just going to do now is to open it up. Then on the right side, I'm going to fold it. And I'm just going to start joining it to my gown. Right side facing each other. So I'll just use it to tape my gown all around. So after taping this, we're going to have. I'll just press it down with a pressing iron. Then I have SS at the lower part, so I'll just trim that off. I'll just trim it off. Then coming to the sleeve now. For the sleeve band, I'm going to fold it on the wrong side and I'm going to stitch those two sides. So after stitching, I'll turn it to the right side. And I'm going to top stitch on it. So just secure it. So after top stitching on it, I will just go ahead and take my sleeve. Then with my tape, I will take the measurement at the band there, which is 8 inches. Then I'm going to take a thread of 8 inches also. So I'll just use that to gather up my sleeve parts. You can pleat it if you want. But I'm gathering mine. So after gathering it, I'll just go ahead and attach it to my band. Right side facing each other. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve also. So I did that already. So the next thing is to join the sides of the sleeve. So from the band area, I'll just take 5 inches. And this is for me to be able to pull up my sleeve, to perform ablution, or to just do other things. So from that 5 inches point, I'm just going to stitch and join my sleeve to the 5 inches point. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Then this is for my belt. So I have a fabric of 4 inches width. 
by 35 inches and I have two piece of it. So this is for the sleeve. So the next thing is to create a button O and to fix the button there. So I'll just go ahead and create a button O for the two sleeves. So for the belt, I formed my belt already. So with my scissors, I'm just going to pull it to the right side. I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to do the same to the second wrist belt also. Then for the sleeve, I formed my button now. So with my needle hand thread, I'm just going to fix my button there. So our sleeve is ready. So coming to our gown now, I'm going to take one of the belts. Then at the joining part of the upper into the lower part, I'm going to attach the belt there. At the joining part there. Then the second belt, I will attach it to the other side also. So I'll just pin it down and then stitch on it. Then at the other side also, I will attach the second belt and I will pin that down also. After which I'm going to stitch on it. Then coming to the joining at the inner part then, I will take my tape and go up by one inch. After which I'm going to lose that one inch point and that will be for the belt opening. And we should note that I'm losing just one side. So I lose that part already and I joined my belt. So I'm just going to fix my belt to the opening there. So our maxi dress is almost ready. So the next thing we are going to do is just to attach sleeve to the maxi dress. So I'll just turn it to the wrong side. Then I will insert the sleeve there and I'm just going to stitch on it. I'll stitch around. And I'll do the same to the second sleeve also. So I join the sleeve to the maxi dress. So the next thing is just to end the lower parts of the gown so I'll just go ahead and fold it twice and I'll hem it all after which I will take it to an overlocking machine and overlock the inside so this is the finished look of the maxi dress I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question endeavor to drop it in the comment section and if you find this tutorial helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment share and subscribe Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, inshallah. Take care. Bye.